Myth. Cubers intentionally try to build calluses. So I train with this Lego cube because it helps me build endurance with my hands. Like look at all of these calluses and these grooves. I mean, I think they're from cubing, but definitely cool to have. Real cool mark of a champion. So I use the Lego cube. Myth, cubers will accidentally give themselves carpal tunnel. I can't move my left hand. Something's wrong, I have to go to the hospital. No better chance to start cubing with my right hand. Myth, cubers will practice in the shower. I'm so glad these stickerless cubes are finally WCA legal. That means I can practice this in the shower and I don't have to worry about my stickers getting wet. Myth, cubers will practice with one hand all the time. Bet you can't do this. Actually, you probably can if you're a cuber. You're actually probably a lot faster than I am at that. Pretty cool. Myth, cubers can identify any cube blindfolded. I heard cubers can identify any cube blindfolded. Well, let me put mine on quick. All right, and here's the one you're gonna test. Okay. Wait, where? Ow! Uh, the pin cube. Uh, it's not what I meant, but sure. Myth, cubers hate cold hands. Whenever the winter comes around, I will never go outside because my fingers freeze and it makes me so slow at cubing. Myth, cubers only do cube handshakes. So me and my friends developed this really cool cuber handshake that you only use cube moves. Well, it looks weird when he's not here, but I promise you it's cool. Myth, cubers are always trying to flex their turning speed. All right, let's do a challenge. Whoever can do 100 turns on their cube the fastest is definitely the faster turner. Ready, set, go. Oh, crap. Myth, cubers have tried to practice in their sleep. I learned that if I sleep with my hands up, my brain starts rotating an imaginary cube while I'm sleeping. Isn't that cool? You can even practice in your sleep. Myth, cubers will eventually hurt themselves. Guys, my hands are stuck like this. I'm, I'm guessing it's from cubing, but I don't know what. Help. Myth, cubers chalk their hands for better grip. I always chalk my hands before solving the Rubik's Cube. It gives me a better grip on the cube and just gives overall better solves. Myth, cubers are always cracking their knuckles. I always crack my knuckles before cubing. Loosens up the hands, makes you solve faster. Myth, cubers want cube tattoos. Well, I'm going to the tattoo store. I wanna get a tattoo of a Rubik's Cube on my hand so my hand knows where it belongs. Myth, cube YouTubers are actually hand models. So low key, I didn't realize when I signed up to be a cube YouTuber, I actually ended up being a hand model? I don't know. Myth, cubers solve while doing push-ups. I always solve the Rubik's Cube one-handed while doing push-ups. It helps me solve better and I think it makes me a better cuber. Myth, cubers do painful things to train. I only train with my TAC Rubik's Cubes to build up my endurance and make my fingers stronger. Pretty cool, right? I mean, I've been on like six ER visits all year, but totally worth it. Myth, cubers embed magnets in their fingers. So I know it's hard to see, but I embedded little magnets into all of my fingers to magnetically attach to the cube for better grip. Best surgery ever. Myth, cubers are always trimming their fingernails. I specifically trim my fingernails before cubing, so I get better grip on the cube. Do you guys do this? Myth, cubers will wash their hands with lube. I always wash my hands with lubricant instead of soap. Just reminds my fingers of how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Pretty cool, right? Myth, cubers have high blood pressure. Well, I just got my blood pressure taken. I took it before solving the Rubik's Cube and after. And, well, I think I gave myself high blood pressure. Not ideal. Myth, cubers shower with lube. I never shower. I just cover myself with this candy cane speed cube shop lubricant. It smells just like peppermint and, well, the ladies just can't get enough of me. Myth, cubers hands get stuck. 
I think cubing has screwed up my hands. Every time I go to shake somebody's hand, my hand is stuck like this instead of the normal handshake position. Kind of creepy if you ask me. Myth, cubers change their finger grooves for grip. I think if I purposely try to reshape the grooves in my fingers with a screwdriver, maybe it'll give me better grip on the Rubik's Cube. I'll have to let you guys know if this works. Myth, cubers hide their backup cubes. I have tons of backup cubes hidden everywhere just in case I have a spare second to practice. I literally can't even go three steps within my house without a cube being hidden somewhere. Pretty cool, right? Myth, cubers constantly drum their fingers. Maybe it's just me, but every single cuber I've ever met always drums their fingers on the table. Maybe it keeps their fingers better oiled and ready to go. I don't know why they do this. Myth, cubers are always drying their hands. Every time I solve my Rubik's Cube, I have to dry off my hands just in case it gives me better grip. Do you guys do this? Myth, cubers are always concerned about lighting. Whenever I cube, the room has to be perfectly lit. I mean, I intentionally have extra lights in the room just so I can see the colors just a little bit better. Myth, cubers only do finger push-ups. Whenever I go to the gym, I only do finger push-ups to strengthen my finger muscles. It really helps me solve the Rubik's Cube better, but in turn, it kind of hurts. Myth, cubers only do finger dances to warm up. I don't know about you, but every time I need to warm up for a competition, I always do the worm dance move to warm my fingers up. Myth, cubers hate sticker bubbles. Sometimes when I re-sticker my cube, I get these little bubbles all over the stickers. And I'm not gonna lie, this literally drives me so crazy that I have to pull all of the stickers off individually and put new ones on. Does this happen to you guys? Myth, cubers freeze their hands to practice. Sometimes before I cube, I'll squeeze ice in my hands to chill my fingers out. That way it prepares me for the winter and when I have to cube in the cold. Myth, cubers only want sponsorships. The only thing that matters to me right now is getting a sponsorship deal to solve the Rubik's Cube. Wouldn't it be so cool to work with Speed Cube Shop and get free stuff all the time? I don't know. I'd just use them to give free cubes away. Myth, cubers constantly tension their cubes. I don't know about you, but I'm always tensioning my cube over and over again to try to get the perfect tensions. There's no way I haven't found the perfect tension by now. I've been doing this for 10 years. Are you kidding me? Myth, cubers constantly fidget everywhere. I literally tried to bring my fidget cube onto an airplane, but they said it was way too loud. I don't know where they got this from, but they literally kicked me off the plane. Not ideal. Myth, cubers have anger issues. Sometimes when I solve, I get really mad if I get a bad solve. And well, my cube gets damaged a little bit from the process. I'll leave that kind of open-ended, but maybe this has something to do with the high blood pressure thing. No clue.